Okay, so I look horrible. I look like a dude and please excuse my death look right now, okay? But this word that I got from God was just too good, okay? And I had to share it. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, okay. So basically, I wanted to talk about something and some of you church folk may be kind of weird about this or whatever but I believe the Holy Spirit told me be careful with being led by the Spirit being led by the Spirit okay so the reason why we need to be careful with being led by the Spirit because if you being led by the Spirit is fueled by a religious spirit then you're not being led by the Holy Spirit. You're being led by a familiar spirit. Okay? And everything that we do has to be uh, built on the foundation of the Word of God. It's, it's very, very important. I know a lot of anointed people that are very, very gifted. But sometimes what can happen is even because the Bible talks about how even the elect will be deceived so what happens is we're too spiritual for our own good which really I should say we're too uh, religious or ritualistic for our own good so so if what you see or what is being deposited into you is cannot be backed up by the word of God then you need to you need to make well we need to, need to test it period but you need to reject it this is why you know we have to use wisdom this is why we need to be in our word this is why we have to be in communion there's a lot of people who spend a lot of time with God and that is great oh my gosh that's wonderful right but with a little immature in their knowledge of the word and one thing that I and, and, and one thing that I do know is that there have been times where the Holy Spirit will speak something to me and it won't be until like a year later or six months later where I look a hot mess uh, six months later where I'll read what the Holy Spirit was given to me you know at that time so I do believe that God can talk to you that's a little better that, <laughs> that God can talk to you and you not be mature or not be aware of the, the scripture, but he's still speaking to you, right? But even still, he confirmed his word to you because you saw it in the Bible. So uh, this is just a quick word. Anybody who is led by the spirit, this is, this is old saints, new saints, backsliders, pre, all that. Everybody who... You know who is a, a believer and you go to church and you talk about being led by the Spirit please t it's so important I was listening to a sermon by Heather Lindsay and she was talking about I don't know why I'm yelling oh, I'm sorry I'm excited but um, talking I listen I was um, li listening to Heather Lindsay and her sermon was about testing the spirits and I'm just so thankful for you know um, servants that uh, aren't afraid to speak the truth in a very highly religious you know church era that we are in we are we are very religious but we lack relationship in this time and it's no it's no different than back in biblical times when Jesus came on the scene with his gangster lean okay and he totally flipped that uh, that era upside down because he had he had already came to fulfill what the prophecies had stated about him coming but it's so crazy because so many people were caught up in their religious and ritualistic acts they were blinded by the idols that they had made out of religion so you had the promise in front of your face and you still couldn't see because you weren't looking, you weren't really, you weren't, and the question I ask when I read the Bible is like, well, dang, were they reading? 
These were the leaders of the time. These were these were the experts of the law. And it, it makes me it lets me just ask the question: Were they really paying attention to the prophecies in the Pentateuch, which is the first five books of the Bible? Were they really, you know, paying attention? And I don't know. You know, makes you wonder, right? But anywho, um, that also could be a word for any leader out there, any minister, any believer, anybody. You know, it's really, really, really important that we get in our word. And, and all of that takes its time. You know, this is not for you to, to do out of, out of, you know, obligation, but it's something that you know, God pulls you to do. It took me a long time to get where I am now and I still got a long way to go. But, you know, it took time, it took experiences and I'm so grateful. So grateful that God was patient with me to finally get me to a point where I'm in my word, like almost every day, like 24 seven, almost not 24 seven, but you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I'm just making a, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I'm in my word a lot, <laughs> but it's just really, really important, you know? So anywho, just want to encourage you guys, you know, that you being led by the Holy, by, led by the spirit, make sure that it's the Holy spirit and not a familiar spirit, you know, make sure it's not a religious spirit. Make sure it's not something that, you know, we're used to seeing in church, you know, make sure that it's truly the Holy spirit. We have to test it, test it with the word. If it ain't in the word, then I'm about to rhyme, but it don't it don't rhyme. I'm about to if it ain't the word, give it the bird. But you don't want to do that. Don't give it the bird. But <laughs> but okay, y'all. I love y'all, <laughs> and y'all have a good uh, afternoon. All right, bye.